Hi, this will be the first of a series of short videos that will allow you to get started in Maya. Today we're going to focus on simply finding things. Now, Maya is notorious for having a steep learning curve, but really it's not that bad. Uh, Maya can be confusing at first because not only are there so many menus, commands, and so on, but because there are so many ways to access the same elements kind of redundancy built in. But this is actually one of its strengths in my mind. You can craft your workflow to what suits you best. And once you get a little faster, you can use these many ways of navigating to match the UI speed uh, to your own increasing skill. Well, Maya is built on modules. So this drop down uh, menu here allows you to switch between modules. So if I go to animation, then it changes some of our menus here and we can go to our keying menus, playback, and so on. One thing you'll notice is that um, these first menus always stay the same, up to Windows always stays the same no matter what module you're in, and then the ones past that will change depending on which module you choose. So that's one way you can find something in the menus, but maybe a better way to think about this is to choose something that we often do and just look at the different ways you can do it. So creating a polycube. So creating a polycube is a very uh, common thing to do. And the first way you might think about doing this is to go to the create menu. And it's a polygon object we want, not NURBS. And we'll go to polygon primitives cube. And we could open the options to change some of its initial settings, but we'll just click on cube and create it. And there you go. Now, you might have had a slightly different experience than me if you're following along. I'm just going to delete that. If I go to Create, Polygon Primitives, Cube. If you have Interactive Creation turned on, and then go to Polygon Cube, it's going to ask you to drag on the screen and then drag again. And you drag it out to whatever size and shape you want. Uh, that's not my preferred method. It's up to you. but go to Polygon Primitives, I always keep Interactive Creation turned off. There are other ways. If we just look a little further in here, we've got this menu item. Uh, these are called shelves, and we can click between these tabs. If for some reason you don't see any of these things, you can always change your workspace over here. I'm just in Maya Classic. You can also change which of the UI elements you see. So if you don't see the shelf, if you go to Windows, UI elements, and you can make sure shelf is turned on here. So if I go to my poly modeling shelf, and yours might look a little different than mine because I've moved things around, then there's just a button to create a cube here. So it does the same thing. So that's two ways so far. Now, another way you can create something in Maya or access menus in Maya is using the hotbox. So we looked before at this, we saw the modules, but if you have your mouse over your interface here and just hold down the space bar, it will bring up all the menus available, available to you uh, in all the modules. So I can go to create here, polygon primitives cube, and we get the same result. So the hotbox is a very powerful tool. As you start to work faster, you might want to even turn off your interface on a PC. It's control space bar uh, on the Mac. It's command space bar, I think. And you can have all your menus hidden and you can just use your hotbox for doing something like this. Control space bar to go back. Okay, so that's another way you can access uh, things. But if you don't want to use that, you can also use a contextual menu. So I've got nothing selected in the screen uh, or on my interface. And if I just shift right click, and then it will bring up this contextual creation menu. So I can create a cube that way. If I had a cube created already, and if I just right click on it, it will bring up a different contextual menu. And now if I shift right click with the cube selected, it will bring up a different contextual menu. So contextual menus can be confusing, but they offer a lot of easy access to commonly used tools. And you can 
craft them to the way you want. So you can edit these contextual menus to add or remove commands that you use often or never use at all. So almost finally, if you wanted to, you could even go down here to the Mel uh, command line and type in a command for creating a polycube, which is just P-O-L-Y capital C-U-B-E semicolon and return. And then finally, uh, something new in Maya 2022, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but uh, there's a search function, which is a long time coming to Maya. Uh, and it's a small thing, but it's great. So if I just click on the little uh, magnifying glass here, or control F, I can start searching for what I think the command might be. So I can start typing cube, and then we see anything with cube related to it. So there's polycube, uh, a NURBS cube, subdivision surface cube, volume cube, view cube. Well, this is the one we want, so we click on it and the same thing happens. And you'll notice that when I go here again, then that is at the top of my list because it might be something I use consistently. Now, just as a bonus tip, um, if there's something you're doing over and over again, uh, you can hold down the space bar to go to Hotbox and there's recent commands here and this is really helpful we can get polycube again so if i create a polycube and i move it out of the way and i want to create another one hold down space bar recent commands and create another polycube so there you go this is one of those things that makes maya confusing but also makes it really uh, intuitive eventually to use when you have multiple avenues to find the same thing in different places Hope that helps. Thanks.